All right, so uh, we've done quite a little bit of integration now. We've worked out our sliders and our type ahead. Uh, we're going to still do a little bit more with that. We're going to do um, a select drop down just to be able to choose maybe a category or something like that, um, just so you get a, a handle on that as well. And then we're going to move on pretty quickly to our integration two. Um, that's mainly what we're going to focus on in the next couple of videos. I'm just going to do a little bit with the select element at the beginning. Um, so we're talking about mainly uh, now, we're going to go from events from map to out, out to the document. So what we're going to be doing here is going to be a little bit related to the select. We're going to have a select list of countries. And what's going to happen is when the countries are selected, we're going to see some data about the countries appear. And we're going to have the same thing happen if people mouse over countries. We're going to have uh, information appear. So we're kind of be going to be sending it through a couple streams. And one of the things about now is that at this point, we would be starting to consider using a larger framework aside from jQuery just to handle all this, especially if we have data going uh, kind of in multiple ways and there's different parts accessing the same data and setting it from different places. We want to be careful and make sure that we're managing that properly. So since I know that our project isn't going to go really far beyond this integration that I'm doing, I, I can you know afford to do it in this project. But otherwise, you know, I would be starting to think about using, you know, Vue or Angular or React or something like that. And of course, you can have a complete integration. You can have that when something happens on the map, it immediately affects the the side. Like if I somehow could select um, the particular, if I if I could type in here, and when I typed, it would also change this filter to show now the range that showed up or something like that, if it had changed. You know, just like there's kind of things you can you can interconnect them back and forth, like we've seen with uh, putting the center here. All right, so we got this going. So first, why don't we make some kind of drop down that lists the countries? So we'll do that again. Um, we'll do that in our advanced toggle this time. And you know, I'm going to make that a little faster. I think 1.5 is a little slow. Let's make it just 0.5. All right, and then in our more information, we're going to put a select element, and we're just going to make select. Select, okay, now we're going to give it an ID of country select, and we're just going to go with that. And what we're going to do is load in these options dynamically. So from here, when we fetch our countries JSON, we're also going to add some HTML to that select element so we can um, get our list of countries. So we know in every one of these JSON objects is, you know, presumably it's a country. So we can actually loop over these and pretty much just go for it. So we can say, okay, we're going to loop to get country list. And we're going to say json.features.for each. And we're going to function feature. Da, da, da. Okay, and the reason why we're saying json.feature, uh, it's actually features, is that countries here as a JSON. It's a little hard to see, but it's a JSON that says type, feature collection, then features, and that's the array that we want, is the features array. Okay, um, so that's why we're going json.features.foreach. And now here we're just going to um, make a bunch of HTML that we can add. So we're just going to say, okay, var HTML to add. This is often a way that I do it, but you, you know, you really don't have to do it uh, this way. There's many ways. So what we're going to do with this is we're just going to append every time into our new select element. Uh, we're not going to alphabetize the countries. Obviously, that's something you can do and would probably be useful to a lot of people. Um, but we're not going to do that here. Just, you know, it's a quick Google, Google search and you will figure out how to uh, alphabetize. So we're going to say country search or country select dot append. And we're going to make an uh, option with the value of whatever the feature, let's say the feature's uh, country name is. That's a pretty easy one to go by. So we have to go back to our country's JSON and see, okay, it's name, dot name. So okay, that's fine. And we'll just give that also, so there's that. Okay, so all I'm doing is just writing in our HTML here. So it will be output correctly, and we'll just see, okay, there we go, JSON features, append, okay, let's see if that uh, if that's going to work. So we have our toggle, oh, it's a big undefined, so let's see what happened. 
Um, maybe I typed in something wrong. This should be properties dot name rather than features dot name because of the GeoJSON format. And there we go. We have a big list. And look at that. It looks like it's actually already alphabetized. Uh, not quite. Look, here's Chad Togo. So they're kind of busted up a little. But if I try to search Canada, you know, there it is. So I can click it, and of course nothing happens because we didn't set anything up yet. So now what we can do is we can set up a change event on this same thing. We'll do it after all our things have loaded. And we will do that down here. Document on. Oh, sorry, we don't think we need that right now. Document on. And we change and do, 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 the country select. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing is uh, getting the new country is going to be e.target.value. And actually what we're going to do as well is just add a kind of default uh, at the beginning of this. It's just an empty one so that the user knows they haven't selected one yet. And we're going to give that a blank value, like that. And we're going to say no country selected. And now that will automatically show up as the first option, as you probably know. And that way here we can also check in our uh, thing that if new country equals blank, then we, uh, you know, or if it doesn't equal blank, then we should show our information, otherwise we should just hide it. So where are we going to show our information? Well, we might as well just show it right underneath here. So let's make another div underneath. And uh, here we are. Div ID equals country, oh, country information. Okay. Now we're just doing this pretty ugly, as you can see. Uh, not making it really nice looking or anything like that. So if the new country, first of all, if it is blank, then we just want that to go blank. We just want its HTML to be empty, like that. Okay, but if it's not blank, then we want its HTML to be something different. So for now, why don't we say, okay, we could just put the, the name of the country we selected, but that's not very exciting. It doesn't really get any information. So what we could do is get, let's see, our country's GeoJSON which is now an actual GeoJSON thing, and we and it's not just a, um, a GeoJSON file. Now it's a set of layers, as you, of course, know. And if the country's not the same, then what we could do is say, okay, countries GeoJSON.each layer, function layer, and there we go. We now have access to our properties again. So we can say if layer.feature.properties.name equals target value, Okay, so it has that. Then we can say if it does actually match it, great. So then we will add its name in there. So let's see if there's anything other than the name included. It looks like we only get the name, so we're going to have to find some other kind of information to put. Uh, we might be able to put the, the ID. That, that's something. So maybe we can put that just so we have more data than we could get out from this alone. Uh, right now. So it's actually layer, we'll to put it in here, layer.feature.id. Let's double check. There, it looks right. And um, let's just see what happens with that. All right, we turn advanced toggle, Angola, and there it is at go. So we can now, you know, just see some basic information. Okay, well that's cool. That's nothing, you know, we did of course set up our interaction with a map object. So that's kind of exciting, but it's not so exciting. So why don't we have it also change when we're mousing over um, countries. We'll have this change the name of the country right in there. So they can select it and show it, or we can mouse over and show it. And here we're getting into the other direction, of course, which is events from the map affecting um, back to our interface, just like our center is still doing.